hello and welcome to this training series on Kofox RPA. This is RoboBear and in this episode we will take a look at expressions. Expressions are used to manipulate variables and perform more advanced actions. The majority of steps allow us to use expressions as inputs instead of direct values or variables. In order to have something to interact with during this lesson, let's first create a new type. Right click your project and select new type. We will name our type invoice data and add a few variables to it such as a short text named id with default value invoice 0001 and an integer named amount with a default value of 1000. Don't forget to add your new type to your robot. You may leave the name blank and Design Studio will automatically generate the name of the type. Next we will create an assigned step. Right click the main workflow, select action step and from the list on the right select assign variable. Next to the input field on the right we have a drop down button with four options. Value is the default option and allows us to input variable data manually. Variable allows us to pass the value of another variable to our currently selected one. Converters allow us to perform several data manipulations and we will cover them in another video. For now we will select expression and then press the edit button to open up the expression editor window. At the top we have the area where we will write our code and at the bottom we can preview the output of the code. Expressions work using JavaScript so a basic knowledge of JavaScript syntax is useful, but not mandatory. We can start writing our code directly, or we can use the expression button on the right to navigate through all the available methods. First of all, we can use double quotes to assign a static string value, or we can just type in a number without quotes to assign an integer or number variable. We can use variables as part of our expressions by selecting them in the variables dropdown or by typing their name directly in the editor. For example, we can select our invoice amount or ID and we can see in the output pane the value of our selected variable. We can combine variables and static values by using operators. We can see the full list of operators in the expression menu. The most commonly used operator is the plus sign. We can use it to add the values of two integers, for example adding 100 to our amount variable. Or we can use the plus sign to merge together two strings into a single text. We can even build conditions by using the JavaScript if-else method. This is a very fast way of building a condition when working with variables. Let's start by defining our condition, for example amount greater than 100. Then we will use the question mark to close our condition and move to the then portion of the code. If the condition is true, let's display a string saying over budget. Next, we'll move to our else section by using the colon symbol. Let's display another string saying in budget. In the output pane, we can see the result of our condition. Moving on, we have a few more functionalities that we can use such as special characters and the extremely useful functions. There are many functions to be used and you can find out more about each one by searching for the JavaScript documentation related to it. For now, let's look at some of the most useful ones, such as substring. This allows us to cut pieces of our text based on character positions. For example, we will take our id variable and tell the function to cut starting with character 0 and up to character 3. Now we can see in the output pane the first three characters of our text. Alternatively, we can tell it to start with character 3 and not give it an endpoint. This will display everything after that character. We can also use the length method to find out the total number of characters a text has and then use that value in other functions. Another useful function is date now, which will generate the current date and time. We can apply additional functions to it, such as extracting the year of the current date. We also have at our disposal several converters that make manipulating data easier, such as converting to integer. 
We recommend that you take your time and explore all available functions, as they can be invaluable tools in your robot development. Before we finish, I want to quickly show you the last two options available in the expression editor. The page properties and robot properties allow us to use information related to a specific robot or web page. A great one is the execution ID, which is the unique identifier used to find the log of this specific robot execution. You can use this function to provide better troubleshooting for live robots. This concludes our lesson on expressions in Kofax RPA. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.